Hello, I'm Craig Stern of ProPharma Pharmaceutical Consultants. We started this series in order to talk to you and to educate you about what was going on in pharmacy benefits and how they work. Last time we talked about how drugs are priced, namely the ingredient cost plus the dispensing fee plus the tax minus the copay. Today I want to spend a couple of minutes to talk about what is ingredient cost. Now if you walk into a store, uh, normally the store has bought a particular product that you buy, they've spent whatever money that they have, and then you pay for it uh, with whatever their sales price is. In the case of pharmacy benefits, on the other hand, it isn't necessarily, and the cost isn't necessarily, what was paid for, but rather uh, according to a contract. And the contract identifies that the ingredient cost or the drug cost will be a percentage of a number called AWP. AWP, or average wholesale price, is usually discounted by some number, can be anything, but effectively, let's say, 16%, and you pay that average wholesale price minus 16%, and that equals the ingredient cost. Now, the problem here is that as long as the average wholesale price is a real number, then your ingredient cost works really well. On the other hand, if the AWP, or commonly known as ain't what's paid, is not a real number, then we have a problem. What has happened in a very quick and simple way is that manufacturers want to sell their products. If it's a branded product, there's only one manufacturer, so they establish whatever the average wholesale price is. If it's a generic product, on the other hand, it may be available from 20, 30, 40, or more different manufacturers. Each of them wants to sell their product. What has been done is that manufacturers have uh, set up an average wholesale price, which is a very large number, and they have sold that product to the pharmacy at a very small number. As a result of that, they have uh, sold their product to the pharmacy based on the fact that the pharmacy can make a larger margin on their product by using the one with a higher AWP. It has nothing to do with what the actual cost was. As a result of that, this ingredient cost is highly dependent on which of the products, which of the manufacturers that the uh, pharmacy bought. What we have, therefore, is a real problem, and that is the ingredient cost may not be hinged to the actual cost. It may not be a multiple of the actual cost. It may be, frankly, a soft cost, a number that is a percentage off of a, uh, of a non-real number, of a phony number. And that's really what we see frequently. The industry is moving to new pricing structures, and in our next uh, uh, issue, we're going to talk about some of those pricing structures to give you an idea of how it works. At the end of the day, what you pay is the ingredient cost plus the dispensing fee plus the tax minus the copay, and your hope is that all of these are real numbers. If this is not a real number, then this is not a real number, and that's where we uh, will discuss further. Have a wonderful day.